here we go here we go welcome back to the channel welcome back to the channel don't forget to hit like subscribe button tell a friend tell a friend here we have another crazy story another crazy story bankroll freddy he's been sentenced to 12 and a half years in the feds the reason why he was sentenced to 12 and a half years in the feds because they said that bankroll freddy he was going out of his way to basically commit crimes when he didn't have to but he did anyways they said bankroll freddy and his you know his friends you know fellow criminals they were distributing you know um drugs all throughout like nine different states think about it think about that not just one not just two not just three not just four nine different states so bankroll freddy receives 12 and a half years and he's trying to figure out why does he need to do 12 and a half years behind the bars and he's a first time offender bankroll freddy saying you know what they're picking on him they purposely um you know um targeting him but bankroll freddy is not saying you know what they caught him with all those guns they caught him with all those drugs no bankroll freddy unfortunately he's not taking any responsibility for anything at all that he did think about it think about it you would think that he was just sentenced to 12 and a half years for no reason at all the way he talking instead of bankroll freddy coming out and saying you know what i made a mistake i, I mean i'm assuming he made a mistake because you know he don't want to be behind the bars right now so i'm assuming he made a mistake he wants to get out but instead of bankroll freddy saying you know what i made a mistake you know don't try to be like me i went out of my way as i said to try to make unnecessary money now i've been separated from my kids for 12 and a half years and you know you don't want to go down the, on the path that i went down no bankroll freddy didn't say anything like that at all instead he's blaming on the system he's saying the system is racist He's saying that he shouldn't be doing 12 and a half years for the crime that he committed. He said that there's other individuals in the jail with him right now who did worse crimes and they got less time. Imagine that. Imagine that. So bankroll Freddy saying, you know what? I'm going to fight to get out. I'm going to fight to get out. But bankroll Freddy, when he was on the streets, he was just doing everything he had to do to go in. So it's one of those things. It's very crazy. So let me get this right. You go out of your way to go in. Then when you go in, you want to get out because you said 12 and a half years is too long. And I have five kids and I want to be with my kids. Instead of when he was free, thinking the way he's thinking right now. Imagine that. Bankroll Freddy, when he was out and he was free, he wasn't thinking about what he was saying right now. The only thing he was thinking about was drip like this, drip like that. Getting to the money. That's all he spoke about. That's all he shows is money. That's it. He's in love with money. Since he was in love with money, that's why he went out his way to get money. He didn't just go to one state, as I said. He didn't just go to two states trying to get money. Him and his fellow criminals, they went to multiple states to try to obtain that money. Bankroll Freddy, he loved money. You know, go check out some of his past interviews. He loved money. He said he's just like his father. Not only did he love the money, he loves the fast money. He loves it real, real, real fast. The faster, the better. Imagine that. Imagine that. So when Bankroll Freddy, when it's time for him to go do his time right now to sit down like a good boy, He's crying. He wants to get out. He said, no, no, you know, I'm a first time offender. I'm a first time offender. You know, I shouldn't have to do this much time. I shouldn't have to do this much time. Believe it or not, the type of drugs they said Bankroll Freddy was distributing throughout the States. It was one of some of the most dangerous drugs known to mankind. So instead of Bankroll Freddy being grateful that he only received 12 and a half years, he's complaining. Think about it. Think about that. The thing is, a whole lot of these individuals, they want to commit crimes. They want to even commit as much crimes as possible. 
and don't want to do any time behind it. They just want to do the crime and just, that's it. But unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. And Bankroll Freddy is not grateful for only receiving 12 and a half years. He's upset. Believe it or not, believe it or not, listen um, to Bankroll, um, you know, Freddy. All he spoke about, rapped about was doing illegal activities. As a matter of fact, what Bankroll Freddy basically went to jail for was basically everything that he was rapping about. So he was basically rapping about everything that he was doing, which was illegal. You know, don't forget, he said he got rich off grass. Well, he's, no, he, he got rich off gas. He got rich off gas. You know, he said he was known in a city from being the man who had those things. So it's no surprise that Bankroll Freddy, he is where he is right now. But for some strange reason, Bankroll Freddy is kind of surprised. The thing is, this young man, he used to commit crimes, you know, never went to jail behind the bars. That's probably why he felt like it was so cool to talk about his crimes, his criminal activities, his criminal ways, you know, on the microphone and make songs about it. Imagine that. Imagine making crimes about doing illegal things. And when you get caught, you have to go do 12 and a half years. Oh, man, I'm a first man. 12, 12 and a half years. No, nah, no, nah, that's too much. That's too much. If that was the case. I would have I, I took that plea deal. Um, I mean, I would have took that plea deal. Bankroll Freddy said if he knew he was going to get 12 and a half years, he would have taken a plea deal. Instead of Bankroll Fred saying, I mean, Freddie saying, you know what? Um, I messed up. I should have never been talking about, you know, committing crimes. You know what? Generations to come don't mess up like how I did. No. Bankroll Freddie, just like a, a lot of these other individuals, they think they're above the law. And they're really not. They're really not. But unfortunately, going behind the bars, especially for over 10 years, that's when you realize, whoa, I done messed up. Because believe it or not, 10 years is a very long time. Bank Rule Freddy received 12 and a half years. He's saying that's a long time. But what I'm saying, the amount of stuff that they call Bank Rule Freddy with, all the crimes he was bragging about doing, I'm actually saying he's a blessed young man. He could have gotten 35 years. Imagine that. That would have been so much longer. So hopefully, Bankroll Freddy will learn from his mistakes or other individuals will learn from his mistakes. Why are you going to commit crimes and talk about it? Oh, I know, I know. I'm so cool. I'm so cool. They say crime don't pay. That's what I heard. That's what I heard. But I see them do it, though. I see them do it, though.